The Oxford Dictionary defines a cannabinoid as any of a group of closely related compounds which include cannabinol and the active constituents of cannabis. On the other hand, the U.S. Alcohol and Drug Foundation defines a cannabinoid as every chemical substance, regardless of structure or origin, that joins the cannabinoid receptors of the body and brain and that have similar effects to those produced by the cannabis sativa plant. So honestly, while the definitions may vary a little bit, depending on who you resource the definition from, I think as long as you remember that a cannabinoid is a chemical compound derived from cannabis, you'll be all right. I'm Dale Hewitt, founder of New Phase Blends, and today we'll be talking about cannabinoids. Before we begin, take a quick second and subscribe to our channel by clicking the button below. It does a lot of good for us, and it helps other people see the info within this video too. This video is really in regards to our list of cannabinoids on the New Phase Blends website. You can find this list by visiting newphaseblends.com, hovering over CBD education in the header menu, and then clicking on list of cannabinoids. This will then direct you to a long list of cannabinoids that you can search through to find more information about. While everyone seems to be obsessed with CBD and THC nowadays, I want you to know that there are more cannabinoids out there that are worth researching. In fact, there's over 124 known cannabinoids at this time. We know more information about some than others, but it's a work in progress. Each cannabinoid profile contains the name, chemical structure, how it's used, and a list of potential therapeutic benefits. I stress potential because even though we understand that some of these cannabinoids can help people, there haven't been any actual clinical trials specifically on most of them, so we can't officially make the claim. The FDA is very strict on this. Click on the corresponding cannabinoids to read more information on them. We separate them by major cannabinoids like CBD and minor cannabinoids. At New Phase Blends, we try really hard to link all cannabinoid profiles to peer-reviewed studies and research. Contact us with any developing info you might have and we'll go ahead and review it. If you have any additional information you would feel that would fit well in this comprehensive list of cannabinoids, also let us know. Cannabinoids in the human body have a really neat interaction with each other. Many people are trying to appreciate cannabis' anti-inflammatory benefits as it slowly acquires a legal status worldwide. After all, mental disorders, chronic pain, even numerous chronic illnesses are all in the list of conditions for cannabis use. Potentially hundreds of specialized cannabinoids within the cannabis plant have been found to provide therapeutic efficacy, lifestyle enhancements, and even performance enhancements to humans. Medical cannabis has been discovered to have a wide range of health benefits for people suffering from sicknesses, including eliminating tumors, anxiety and depression, relieving arthritis pain through anti-inflammatory effects, and reducing the number of seizures experienced by epileptic children. The list of cannabinoids contains the most well-known in studies of these compounds. THC, like we talked about earlier, is the most well-known cannabinoid, and it's the chemical responsible for much of the intoxicating effects of cannabis. CBD, on the other hand, is a generally non-intoxicating compound that has been proven to give a wide range of medical advantages, including pain relief, anxiety relief, and depression relief, and it's another noteworthy cannabinoid. Like THC, CBD offers some therapeutic benefits, but without the high. All of these benefits are thanks to our endocannabinoid system. Because the endocannabinoid system is found in all mammals, companies and product lines specialized in the health and well-being of domestic pets are starting to appear in legal cannabis marketplaces. Many cannabinoids within cannabis are important to identify because medical studies show they might improve illnesses like arthritis, digestive difficulties, anxiety, and discomfort. But before we go any further, it's important to distinguish something. Cannabinoids and cannabis are known as phytocannabinoids. Cannabinoids produced by the human body are known as endocannabinoids. The endocannabinoid system can utilize both cannabinoids from an endocannabinoid point of view and a phytocannabinoid point of view. Cannabinoids can be found in practically every part of the cannabis plant. However, flowers typically contain the most. Cannabinoids are abundant on trichomes, which are hair-like structures on cannabis plant flowers. Cannabinoids were formerly thought to be only found in the cannabis plant, but studies have discovered that they may also be found in carrots, broccoli, 
ginseng, black pepper, and some other items. That said, the cannabis plant is still regarded as the richest source of cannabinoids. Phytocannabinoids, or cannabinoids derived from the plant, are structurally identical to endogenous cannabinoids made by the body. They can even mimic endocannabinoids and bind to specific receptors to change how the human body sends or receives messages using the central nervous system and immune system. In our body, different cannabinoids have distinct effects. Tetrahydrocannabolic acid, for example, is known to have a high propensity for CB1 receptors, which are the brain's receptors. It binds to CB1 receptors in the brain rapidly, resulting in intoxicating effects that we've come to expect from high THC cannabinoids. That's basically why THC is so psychoactive. CBD is thought to interact differently with endocannabinoid receptors. According to researchers, it may bind indirectly, affecting the ability of the endocannabinoid receptor to bind with other cannabinoids. In other words, CBD may prevent specific neurotransmitters from reaching the brain, such as those that transmit pain. Simply said, cannabinoids interact with our bodies, which means they have the potential to affect a variety of regulatory activities like appetite, mood, pain thresholds, and even more. More studies are needed to validate the health benefits of CBD and other cannabinoids though. So go ahead, take some time, go over this list. It's quite interesting stuff, really. Remember, a cannabinoid is a chemical derived from cannabis that interacts with the endocannabinoid system that all of us have. If you can remember that, you're good to go. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It really helps the New Phase Blends channel grow and it makes this video widely available to many other people who can benefit from the information within.